can you introduce yourself, tell us your name and where you come from? Yeah, hey, I'm Michaela Philip, and we are from Sweden. Uh, we will come here because uh, my son is autistic mm -hmm. and uh, we hope that will be uh, yeah, much better after the stem cells therapy. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you describe us what were you, your challenges and what kind of symptoms he was showing? Mm -hmm. Uh, what was your day-to-day -day routine? Uh? Yeah, he he need like uh, <laughs> uh, assistance because he was very impulsive, mm -hmm. and uh, when he just thinking that he want to do something, he don't think about this before. Mm -hmm. He just do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, and we have like uh, sometimes when he is too angry. Mm -hmm. He can beat himself mm -hmm. uh, or do the same with the little sister mm -hmm. and um, and he have like fixations mm -hmm. with something that he like it a lot. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the bigger issues mm -hmm, sure. for us. Yeah. Understood. Um, did you try maybe before this some other treatments or interventions maybe to a to address these symptoms or yes uh, yes we was we was do it like dolphin therapy mm -hmm. and a lot of therapy speech therapy about therapy mm -hmm. uh, sensorial and oh, a lot of therapies that it's including everything for autism mm -hmm. okay can you tell us what have you heard about stem cell therapy or seen about stem cell therapy that you decided to give it a try yeah, I was like informed me about stem cells uh, before five years ago mm -hmm. and I was reading a lot about this uh, and um, look at the videos and a lot of stuff and I decided to come here because uh, I think that here it's the, the, the first uh, clinic that they do it from uh, placenta and uh, mm -hmm. from um, uh, umbilical. Mm -hmm. okay. So, can you tell us? And, so? mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. is the more uh, efficient that mm -hmm. I know, mm -hmm. and for this reason we are here. Thank you. Um, can you tell us? So did you have any kind of concerns or doubts, maybe about stem cell therapy? Or, or was there something you know that made you feel uncomfortable while reading all about all of that? You know, if you if you read about everything like medicines too, mm -hmm. everything have like uh, side effects, mm -hmm. and of course, like parents, you think about this: mm -hmm. what is the side effects, and if they will be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And were there any? Were there any? That no, you were we afraid? don't have it. We don't have it. Everything <laughs> was perfect. Got it. Um, did you discuss the idea of stem cell therapy with? Uh, uh, with Ryan's doctor, with his uh, primary doctor uh, or, or other specialist and if you did discuss with somebody in Sweden, in your home country, what was their perspective, what was their advice? Uh, now I would try it to have like little um, um, specialists, you know, like opinion, mm -hmm. but they, in Sweden, uh, the people it's more skeptic and if it's not like 100% mm -hmm. uh, okay to do it, they mm -hmm. said no. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to speak about this, mm -hmm. really. They just uh, hold the distance and they say, no, this, this is not okay. Interesting. Um, how did you overcome uh, apprehensions about traveling to an unfamiliar country? I mean, Serbia is not your, probably it's not familiar with, uh, with everybody and it's uh, not that well-known country. So uh, did you have any apprehensions and uh, what, uh, how did you overcome them? And to take uh, you know, treatment, as you said, that's uh, relatively new to you and to, to everybody else. Yes, of course, it was uh, very scared mm -hmm. when we come here. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, uh, in the first day, uh, okay, we will go home. <laughs> we don't do nothing. Uh, but um, when I come and I spoke to the other families, mm -hmm. I I beginning to to be more calm, 
And the, the other day, they, I was spoken with my husband and we were say, yeah, we will do it. We was just scared about this, but everything is okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Great to hear that. Could you share us, uh, with us your experience here at Swiss Medica? Um, did you feel that the procedures were safe? And uh, can you tell us as well what kind of outcome you're hoping for uh, from the treatment? Yes, um, uh, the procedures, I think that was everything good. Everything was sterilized and uh, the doctors was really kind and helpful um, yeah and we just hope to have improvements <laughs> of course <laughs> of course um, out of I mean there's a lot of other clinics doing this kind of treatment so we were curious why did you choose Swiss Medica why did you choose to come here to Serbia for, for the Yeah, treatment? how I said that, yeah, I know that it's a lot of clinics that they do, but they don't do from the placenta and the umbilical mm -hmm. uh, stem cells. That it's the most uh, efficient mm -hmm. and the, the best in stem cells. So we decided to come here for, for this reason, first mm -hmm. of all. Yeah. And can you tell us, for the parents maybe, or other patients um, that are facing similar health challenges, would you give them any kind of advice or an insight, uh, something that you would share with them? Yeah, I'm like a parent, I'm thinking like this. I just can't say to the other parents if they have the the economics uh, skills to come here. Mm -hmm. I think that every parent must to try mm -hmm. because you know, like parents, you want to try everything with it for your child. Um, till now, I don't feel that it's something that um, it's do worst for him, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that it will be better five or ten percent for us. It's a huge stage. And, and I think that everybody must to, uh, like, parents must to think like this. And I think every parent is thinking like this. The, the risk, it's, it's in everywhere. But if you don't try, never know if it's better or not. I, I agree completely with you. And thank you for sharing all of that with us.